Now, travelling up and down the Sunshine Coast, folks, is not all about fine weather and fine relaxation. It's also about fine dining. Now, here at Nusa Marina, we stumbled across this beautiful Italian restaurant, Italian Marina. Now, I heard they make a great pasta, house-style pasta, homemade. Let's go meet the owner and see how they do it. Hello. Uncle Angelo. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. It's How a pleasure doing? to be here. I'm Thank doing you. well considering the weather. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it is, Nusa. Yeah. yeah, welcome to Nusa. Thank you. Now, how long have you been here? Uh, in Nusa, uh, um, close to two years. Yeah. I uh, came from uh, Sydney. I okay. spent uh, 14 years in Sydney. Okay. Um, Managing restaurants? Yes. Uh, I built it up two restaurants uh, since 2007. Okay. And uh, the, this is my third uh, venture. Restaurant. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. all so, right. So you're Italian. What part of Italy? Uh, Firenze, Florence. Florence. Uh, that's okay. where I come from. Mm -hmm. uh, all my stuff coming from Italy. The chef is uh, from Modena. Okay. Uh, the pizza maker is uh, from uh, Pizarro. Uh, so my you brought stuff. the whole family there. Ah, uh, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Yes, yes. So yes. you start off in in New South Wales, Sydney. Yes, yes. And you move. This is moving up in the world. It's moving better. It's moving better. <laughs> okay, it's all right. moving really well. Because traditionally, you know, Melbourne's not for all the beautiful Greek Italian style restaurants. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish to come. The to last me. place I thought, mate, I was going to find anybody <laughs> here in New South. Up here. Yeah, traditional yeah. Italian food. Well, Who would have thought? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, I love Melbourne. Melbourne is, uh, yeah. is, I wish to be there, yeah. uh, but it's too cold. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't know. So I prefer Sydney. You just put and, a jacket on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. But in Sydney, was uh, becoming uh, really uh, too tough. Not tough, it's, it's, it's a city. It's, it's fast. a city. It's fast. And so Melbourne's fast too, yeah, to be yeah, honest also, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've enjoyed a few days here. It's been nice and relaxing. I've been enjoying the, the environment, the weather. I want to learn all about your food cooking here. Please, now, yes. Now, you are doing yes. a traditional pasta dish. Yes. Um, what is it? Well, uh, is, uh, it's called garganelli. Garganelli yeah. um, is basically a fresh pasta yes. uh, made with eggs yeah. and flour. Um, and uh, it's a rolled. Uh, handmade yeah. and uh, the shape is uh, uh, particularly uh, it's a square and when you fold it, it creates a flap also okay and and it's a uh, really um, helpful for the sauce yeah. so it get it in it's uh, like a pin eh? yeah but um, better a, a better shape uh, better shape pre pretty and shape. house made yeah house please food. Meet David, the, okay. the head chef. Let's so go. I'm hungry. I've come here with yeah, no food in go. my tummy. I'm ready to <laughs> eat, mate. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. This is David, my head chef. David, how are you? How are you? Very good, yeah, very good. good. Well, now you're going to show us how to make yes, this here. Garganelli. Garganelli. Traditional kind of pasta from uh, Bologna, which is very close where I'm from. I'm from yeah. Modena. Yeah. And uh, it's a very... Um, uh, classic pasta that my mom were used to. So you, do you're for me. you're the head chef. Yeah. Did you go to school to learn how to make this? I also, but yeah. you know, best uh, first school is being mom. So, mom, yeah. you never beat that, huh? <laughs> Mama's hands here. All right. Yeah, so what do we need to do here? Okay. Pretty simple. Big bowl. Yep. Five egg yolks, only the egg yolks. Yep. And 100 grams of flour. 100 grams of plain okay. flour. Plain flour. Okay. Okay. So we start putting the egg yolks in there. Gently the flour in it. Yep. And you start to mix it through like this. Breaking the egg yolks. Yep. And mix it through like that. Slowly add the flour and then just mix it slowly through yep. with the egg yolks. Once the, the dough starts to get in thicker, yeah. you will be able to mix it. Mix it by hand. We're working with your, with your hands. hands. Yep. Okay. And we add nothing else to it. It's yeah. purely five egg yolks. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Wow. There's no secret here. <laughs> no, really. It's very simple. <laughs> As a basis of Italian cuisine. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. Okay. From the country. It should look like. Looks like that yeah. now. Well, it, it has been my first uh, play doh. That was yeah. your first play doh? When, when, yeah, when I was uh, a kid. <laughs> this is how you learn, folks. True. <laughs> I remember my mom was doing fresh pasta yep. in my family in Trattoria, in Modena. And sometimes she was used to give me a little piece of dough and, you and I would start, start to, you know, start to just, work. And she'd watch it like this from the side, <laughs> huh? <laughs> He's ready for it now. So, it's getting there, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. So the more you work it, the harder it gets? Uh, actually, uh, it becomes more elastic. Yeah. So it needs to rest at least 10 hours. Okay. okay? So you usually do the dough and you 
put, put it in the, the fridge yep. for a new work work it uh, the, the day the after. Ne ne next day. So you wait a whole day after that. Yeah. And that's another sample there. Exactly. And that's this is the finished I've product done yesterday. And today, this is ready to be made into this. Bang. Okay. So from here, what do we do next? Okay. I'm gonna chop a little piece off, one little piece of dough. Yep. Cut it up a little bit. Yep. And we pass it through the press. Wow, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So that's ready. Uh, nearly. Okay, what do you it do? It's very important to fold it to break the nerve of the pasta, of the pasta dough. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of Italian in there, isn't there? <laughs> a little bit, little bit of aggression. So you need <laughs> to soften it up a bit more. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That's what's going to happen. So you fold it and pass yeah. it through again. Yeah, and then it will be ready. Square shape too. too yeah. Rectangular shape. Yeah. How thin do you go? Uh, it's very thin. You have to see through. Okay. So another step. Okay. So you can start to see through. See through. Yeah. Yeah. Paper thin. This is it. You could go thinner, but it's not what you what want, want to do this type. This. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So we've got that ready now. Yes. Next. So we can just uh, start to cut it. Yep. Side. How many do you cut off? Oh, no, uh, look at that pattern. Yeah. Start to be like this. So you just and you're creating yeah. the nice little serrated edge exactly. with that. Exactly. So once you got that, you cut little squares. Like oh, that. Look at that. So we've got these little squares. That's the size there. So if we put a measurement there, it's about four to five centimeters. Uh, probably, yeah. Yep. Once you got that, that uh, little tool to, That's... we call it patina, which is, means brush. Yeah, like okay. a brush tool. Yeah. So what you're doing is holding your pasta corner On the edge, here yeah. and roll it. And that's it. Wow. Finished product. And no two pasta rolls are the same, folks. <laughs> This is fantastic. Yeah, just keep going. All day. So, <laughs> this is what the head chef does <laughs> all much, day. Yeah. <laughs> this would make how many people? So, you've got 100 grams of plain flour, five egg mm -hmm. yolks, yeah. and how many servings would uh, you get out of this? It depends by which kind of sauce you're going to add on it. Okay. On it. But pretty much four. Four yeah, servings around, around out of 100 four. grams. Yeah. Is Can it, I have is a look at the menu? How much do you sell this for, mate? <laughs> <laughs> not enough. <laughs> not I'm enough. I'm telling you, not enough. <laughs> the rates the are pretty high. What are we doing? Ah, uh, not enough. <laughs> Why you don't try it? I'll give it a go, no worries. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so we put, if I show it, if I show it too well, then you might want to employ me here. Yeah, yeah, you go close, see? <laughs> Not bad, Beautiful. huh? Beautiful. It's very easy, actually. Well, it looks very easy to yeah. do, but it's a traditional recipe True. from your mum. Yeah. And it's obviously from her mother and so on. I guess so. Passed down the generations. <laughs> And this is what it's all about here in Nusa, isn't it? The traditional culture, keeping yes, it alive. Yes, that was uh, was missing in Nusa, and uh, we have a good response from uh, the community. Yeah. Uh, we're really happy with the locals also, yeah. uh, because we, we, we give them, you know, what Something we always eat in our life before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, simple pasta, simple food uh, that we and, and used to have. And Yeah, and it tastes great. That's yeah. it. That's what it is. One Italian restaurant. Is there a Greek one around here, mate? <laughs> no, we're waiting for you. <laughs> when are you coming? Ooh, it's so tempting here, folks. Oh, Souvlaki yeah. with garlic sauce, tzatziki. Why not? <laughs> and Why not? Why not? Is there a chance for us to taste this? Of course. Okay. What you are we doing? To, uh, You're going to prepare sauce? Yeah, let's yeah, have no a look problem. at that. Yes. Can't come all the way up to Nusa here and not have a taste. <laughs> you kidding me? I don't think it's really special, but it's beautiful. It's special. I know, look, for, as an Italian, I'm disappointed. No olive trees, no lemon trees, <laughs> no fruit well, trees, no tomato plants. I'm, I'm trying to be a Queenslander. Right? So <laughs> You're doing we, a good job. We got palms, we got bamboo. That's uh, really good. You know, things like that. a pool, which is really how important for us. How long have you been here? 
Uh, I have been here two years. I yes. came from Sydney, but yeah, I'll, I love Queensland and Noosa especially. Actually, Noosa is a suburb of Taiwan, you know, I have to be honest. Oh, it's because, the other way yeah, out. It's the other, <laughs> no many people know. But first, uh, Tewantin uh, was here, and then they created Nusa and all Hastings Street and all the other suburbs. Ah. That's why, if you look for a bank, actually yeah. the banks are all here in Tewantin. So nothing in Nusa. Nothing in Nusa. There is no bar in Tewantin. We have five banks. <laughs> so Beautiful. <laughs> and we've got accounts with each one of them. <laughs> Don't you forget that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So what do we do to make the sauce? Uh, it's a very easy, simple, rustic uh, condiment. Yeah. Just uh, porcini mushrooms. Is that, are they mushrooms? Porcini mushrooms. Beautiful. And with some garlic, uh, pancetta, oh, nice. and a touch of butter, yep. parmesan cheese, and parsley on top. That's it. Okay. Very simple. Go for it. I just roughly chop it. So first you roughly chop the, the mushrooms. Yeah. Once the pan is really hot, you start to Drop some olive oil. Yes. And few garlic drops. The garlic give the flavor, the flavor to, into the oil. To, to, into the oil. And then you remove the garlic. You, yeah. yeah. And now your porcini. And that's Next. the best part. Yes. <laughs> it gets <laughs> better and better. Meat. <laughs> okay. Okay. You add your pancetta. We're not vegetarians here, okay, folks. Beautiful. <laughs> Just a touch of white wine. Pinch of salt, a bit of pepper. A bit of butter. You see, I need that emo emotion with yeah, butter, butter yeah. and water. Yeah. This is it for now. Okay. Be sure that you season the water first. Okay. And then. Uh, How long does it take to boil? Uh, fresh pasta, uh, not even a minute. Not even a minute? Yes, once it comes up, it's ready. So wait for the stuff to flow. You're kidding me, it's ready. <laughs> Pasta in a pan, toss it up, be generous with parmesan cheese. Yeah, don't be shy on that no. one, huh? Just a little final touch of olive oil and ready to plate. Ready to plate! Here we go. Parsley, which is grows everywhere in the Italian cuisine, pretty much. That is beautiful. <laughs> Have a look at that. And this is it. Parsley in a flash. Now, it's all in the tasting, folks. There's, all the proof is in the tasting. <laughs> okay, please. It looks good. <laughs> Do you always taste your food? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. What do you reckon? That is beautiful. No? Nice, rich, but rich, rustic, simple. Rustic. Yeah. The flavors are bursting out. They're not overcooked. The pasta is to die for. It's so easy. Yeah. It looks so easy to make and it tastes yeah. so much better than all that packaged well, stuff. <laughs> that you can't beat that. That is wonderful. Well, congratulations. Wonderful work that you do Thank there. Thank you. You've been here how long? Uh, in Noosa, five years. Yep. In uh, Australia, ten, nearly yeah. ten. Yeah. Yep. And this is your passion? Yes. And, and your passion comes through <laughs> in your cooking there too. So I'm going to knock this out, folks. <laughs> I'm going to go out there and relax next to this waterfront. Uh, enjoy this pasta, Michelangelo. Thank you very much. It's been a City. pleasure. Thank you very much. So, for My anybody pleasure. who wants to come up to a, for a holiday or some a getaway place, yes, Musa Marina, Italian Marina. Yes, that is is the place to come to. We are here. We're waiting for you, especially Mabu people. <laughs> Always welcome. Well, I know where they're coming up and up my Suvlaki bar, right next to the Italian <laughs> anytime, Marina. Anytime, anytime. We'll be the Greek Marina next door. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I'm, I'm really happy if you come up. No well, worries. For me, Vasily here in Nusa, Maresi. Parece. Tchau. Tchau.